Achoo! Achoo! Ooh. Mm, so proud of Ty. I'm getting ready right now. I just finished my makeup. That's why I have this little headband in. I wanted to share with you guys how I curl my hair using a curling iron. I haven't curled my hair using a curling iron, I feel like in a very long time. And I'm going to basically wrap the hair around the curling iron with a clip. Well, I'm not gonna use the clip, but I'm using this curling iron Hasha tools. I don't know which one this is, but I'll have it linked down below. I think it's under $55, but yeah. I just wanted to share with you guys an updated curling routine using a curling iron. Let's get started. First thing, heat protectant. And today I'm going to use the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press. And I'm gonna separate my hair into a couple of sections. And then I'm just gonna spray some to this lower section of hair and brush it out. And this is one of my favorite hair brushes at the moment. It's by Denman. Makes my hair really soft and it's inexpensive. All right, so I'm just gonna start from the very back. I'm gonna grab a section of hair not too big, not too small. I'm gonna take the curling iron and I have it set at around 350 Fahrenheit. And I'm just gonna take it towards the back and wrap my hair around it, starting from the top, making my way down to the bottom. And with these curls, I'm going to alternate the direction. So the first one I did away from my face, this one I'm going to do towards my face. And I'm keeping like half an inch to an inch of my ends, not on the curling iron just to make sure I minimize the damage to the ends of my hair. Guys, the curls are turning out so nice. Oh, look at that. So this curling iron, it's ceramic titanium. So with that, it's not actually just ceramic. So what I look for the curls, I want them to be bouncy, less frizz. Then for me, my hair, the curls last a long time. And I find that when you do use heat protectant, it also helps with the curls so they would last a little bit longer. I know you guys always have those kind of questions like how can I make my curls last longer? Definitely use heat protectant. That's one of the biggest things. And then at the very end, add some kind of hairspray, texture spray, or dry shampoo to kind of add a little bit of grit for your hair so it kind of has something to hold on to. Oh, so pretty. And then this last piece that's closest to my face, I make sure I always curl it away from my face. So bring it down and then wrap it around the barrel. And if you're still not comfortable wrapping your hair around, use a glove or practice with a cold curling iron to kind of make sure you don't place your fingers or your hands on the actual barrel when it's hot. It's so pretty. I haven't done these kind of curls in a long time. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other side. I'm gonna go towards the back of my head first, start at the very back, make sure all the hair is taken care of in the back. And sometimes when I'm feeling lazy, I'll just have Andre do the back of my head. It's very rare. It has happened before, right babe? Yeah, I need a glove. Another little trick that I do sometimes to make my curls last a long time is add a little bit of hairspray to every section of hair that you curl and just kind of let it set in place before you brush it out, either with a hairbrush or your fingers. I like this one a lot. This is by Karina Organics. This is their fast drying hairspray and it's their firm hold. It's really clean, it's healthy, and it's actually non-aerosol. It's just a little spritz and the spritz is actually really good. So I'm gonna add a little bit tiny layer of this hairspray to this lower section of hair. And I will have everything that I use in this video listed down below. So if you want some kind of hair clips like I have, this hairbrush, curling iron, these hair products, I'll have it all listed down below. And I do use affiliate links. So if you guys do buy something from me, I really appreciate it. And I always make sure to disclaim if they are affiliate or not. Starting the same way, I'm taking a section from the back and curling it away from my face. You know what I forgot to do? Heat protectant. How could I? And if I see some sections, I don't like the curl, I'll just go back in and grab smaller sections. And I don't know if I mentioned this, this is a one inch, completely forgot. One inch curling iron. All 
I'm gonna repeat the same thing, add a little bit of hairspray. And I'm going to curl this top section right in the middle, just because I am alternating the curls, so if I do wanna flip it to one or the other side, it's gonna look good. And let's not forget my heat protectant. And then same thing, start from the back and make my way forward. I'm curling it away from my face. And you don't have to brush out every single section like I am. I just like to do it just to make sure my hair is nice and smooth. I think this results with less kinks in the hair once it's curled. Just overall, I think it looks better, but you definitely don't have to. Achoo! Achoo! Woo! Achoo! Woo, excuse me. Mmm, still part tie. And then this last section, like I said, again, away from the face. I'm going to bring the curling iron just a little bit lower and not too close, so just like that. So it's like two, at least one to two inches away from my roots. Just like that. Andre just told me my seconds are too fast. I just do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. I count the way I count, Andre. So same thing. Bring the curl down a little bit lower. <laughs> what? So you see the two curls on the front, they're somewhat even. I'm going to redo this curl right here because I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> Much better. All right, so I'm gonna quickly look around and see if any other curls are not pretty. Like this one right here, it's a little too loose for the rest of them. So I'm just gonna recurl it, divide into two sections. Just give it a quick recurl. Just wanna make sure all the curls are somewhat even in consistency. <laughs> Much better. Let's redo this one too. Much better, there we go. This is the time where I ask Andre if I curled all of my hair in the back and I do a quick turnaround for him. And he tells me if I did a good job or I need to fix something <laughs> because we don't have any other mirrors in here. All right, so he said I'm good to go. So I'm gonna add one more time some hairspray to this top section of my hair. Is that it? It smells so good. And I'm just gonna give them a good like 30 seconds to make sure it's all set. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to kind of take this hairstyle apart and make it prettier. <laughs> Or you could just leave your hair like this, not brushed out. I mean, I everyone in, has their preference. I see it in the, like on the TV, a lot of times people just leave it. It's okay. more like those like lower production kind of shows or movies where you see the girl has her hair curled and it's like this, sometimes even worse, and it looks really crispy. I think that's what makes me really cringe, when the hair looks crispy. Well, Andre's telling me to make a little turnaround for you guys to show you what it looks like. So here we go. <laughs> brush it out. <laughs> so I'm just gonna flip it around, make sure I don't hit my head. There we go, much better. Take my fingers, brush it through a little bit more. I kind of want to fix these little parts right here. So I'm just gonna take the curling iron and just kind of straighten the bottom out because I feel like they're flipping out a little bit too much. Just like that. Same thing on this side. There we go, that's better. And that completes the look of how I curl my hair with a curling iron. This one inch hot tools that has a clip, but I actually didn't use the clip. <laughs> this actually kind of tricks people to think I have a lot of hair because I do it in layers, curling the hair. I think that's what helps do the trick. And this is where you can go in, add a little bit more hairspray to all of your hair to see if kind of you want a little bit more 
cold texture whatever or texture spray or dry shampoo i'm happy with my hair now because it has a little bit of texture but it's also very bouncy and still silky enough to a point where the curls are gonna last all day long so hope you guys like this video let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one bye